what are the challenges plant would face in the microgravity or space environment it's interesting because all the other environment conditions mm-hmm. right keep changing over the evolutionary scale but gravity not so much it's constant right but there there has been a change in gravity which is when plants came out from mainly aquatic habitat mm-hmm. onto land because from in, algae to terrestrial yeah in the if if a plant is growing underwater in mm-hmm. underwater plants they don't really like there's a different buoyant force right right right, right. but going onto the land is completely different ball game once you're once the plants are on the, on the land there's competition for light you have to be the first one to get the lights mm-hmm. and the plants mm-hmm. underneath will not get it so then there was evolutionarily the the emergence of lignin which provides structure like solid mm-hmm. structure to the plants and that's how we got trees uh anyways going back to the, the gravity part so plants while well, you might think that are not exposed to a change of gravity they have some sort of uh, exposure to it in in their genes they do have mechanisms to counteract these these problems so when you grow something in space let's take um the space station for example mm-hmm. right there's it's it's microgravity right very low gravity so plants they grow a bit wonky the, the structure is weird they they are much more elongated there is no the, the gravity um the force of gravity directing them in a particular way because on earth uh you have the gravity that directs plants upwards and downwards there's a light and gravity so gravity uh attracts plants downwards light attracts plants upwards mm. so that's how plants orient themselves the roots downwards the shoots upwards so if you grow plants in complete darkness in microgravity plants are all confused but then if you add light plants will use that light as indicator for the growth yeah, the alignment and that way they can counteract some of the the loss of the loss of gravity uh, the other main thing is that the water uptake from the plants you know the transpiration of the um, hydraulic the vascular system the vascular system uh, the movement of water the absorption of water is all driven by you know capillary action and gravity sort of plays a part in that but then removing the gravity affects the the water uptake and water nutrient uptakes of the plant uptake of the plants which is yeah water uptake and then the the gas exchange so the the fluid dynamics is really what gets messed up Interesting. more than the mm-hmm. the biology itself so the plants will grow just fine but as long as they're able to um you know get get water into the system which is a bigger challenge than the genetics itself um and as long as you shield the plants from radiation in the space they should be fine but yeah that's that's the major challenge with yeah. what about the root germ and root growth uh, like is there any change the structure will be affected typically you see the the roots growing longer i think the biology is i'm, mm-hmm. I'm sort of not not too expert mm-hmm. at this point but there's definitely an effect right. yeah yeah so what about gaseous exchange does uh, microgravity has any influence on how they open and close the stomata of the leaves yeah so <laughs> microgravity and also the low pressure hyperbaria mm-hmm. um has an effect on gas exchange because there's the partial pressure difference and the pressure difference that sort of drives the the gradient mm-hmm. that the gradient drives the the movement of the fluids and gas being technically being a fluid is the rate at which that gas is exchanged can be diminished under low pressure and what about the the seed germination probably no i i don't know in concrete mm-hmm. but probably not the same mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um but there was one project where uh, from our lab where we sent out barley <coughs> seeds Mm-hmm. and uh they were exposed so they were sent out and they were exposed to the radiation from the space so there's a unit on the space station where you can put stuff out there which is exposed to the space radiation the cosmic radiation so the barley seeds were exposed to the radiation they were they sat there for a few months and then they were brought back to earth on the spacex rocket and then we, uh, we germinated them in the not me uh yeah. but uh, yeah people in our, in our lab they germinated uh those seeds and most of them germinated just fine um and a fun fact part of the, that barley uh so part of this project was uh funded by glenlivet the well known makers of whiskey single malt scotch they sponsored part of this project and some of that that barley that was sent to space came back <laughs> is shipped to the glenlivet distillery and they'll use some of that barley to make some whiskey and then in a few years expect a special edition space space whiskey <laughs> so I'm keeping my eye out on that. Do you think uh, plant has to adapt uh, any physical changes to 
grow in space uh like uh, like if we keep the plant so what are the evolutionary changes that we can expect in plant if they kept long enough in space i think the architecture of the plant would be a dominant one a dominant effect they might not grow the same way as we you know the they might be more spread out or less bushy stuff like that in terms of vascular system like how do they handling fluid dynamics of uh, nutrient carrying and water most of that should be should be unaffected mm-hmm. it's how the the water gets into the roots is is a challenge once it gets into the root then there's no problem yeah, so yeah, yeah. capillary action yeah it's a capillary action so it, so have you noticed any like or heard about any uh, molecular changes in the plants when it is grown in space yes so when plants are grown in space mm-hmm. uh, in a microgravity environment let's say there are a whole host of if you look at the transcript right the the proteins and the rna the dna activity of mm-hmm. the plants a whole host of um, stress response genes get activated plants perceive that sort of as a stress but they're able to counteract uh, their signatures if you yeah if you measure them biochemically if you analyze the biochemistry mm-hmm. um and the the transcripts you find signs of stress but again plants are able to adapt to those stress they have mechanisms to counteract that there was an experiment done um by researchers at the university of florida they got some <coughs> moon soil from the actual moon soil right. from the moon that the astronauts got back from the apollo missions and they grew arabidopsis plants in that soil for a few days what they found was that the plants growing in moon soil compared to earth soil let's say had some you know signs of stress so they didn't grow as well but at the same time they did grow so it's not like there was zero germination they did germinate and they did grow which is hopeful think of it like growing plants in a problematic soil mm-hmm. where there's a right. some contamination or imbalance of nutrients something like this is happening 